Sandra faces a breakfast behind bars. Where's the rest of it, like? But Tatiana is in no hurry to finish her curry. It's quite disgusting, actually. <laughs> I can't believe you eat this for breakfast. At lunchtime, Tat is faced with a white bread buttered sandwich stuffed with full fat brie. Oh. Followed by an afternoon of snacking through roast chicken. I think after I've had a couple more bites for this, I probably won't be able to eat anymore. Sandra's diet is excessive, but it's helping Tatiana to discover new foods, and this will enable her to enjoy a much healthier and more varied diet in the future. Sandra is struggling with the swap, and as she works from home, she's used to staying up late and eating through the night. Tonight, she faces her first evening without a midnight feast. It is difficult, because I feel like I've got no, I've not had nothing warm. I don't know, I was saying to someone the other day that when I have something warm, I feel like I'm getting, like, hugged from inside. On day two, Sandra serves up another lunchtime speciality. West Indian rice with pork in onion gravy. Oh, and a smidgen of salad. But Tatiana's Italian job fails to impress her supersized housemate. The pasta makes me hungry. After about an hour, I'm going to be starving. <laughs> A good tip for both super skinnies and super sizers is to use a slightly smaller than average dinner plate. That way, super sizers are less inclined to feel cheated and super skinnies won't feel so overwhelmed. I like the rice. It's quite easy to eat, but the pork is filling me up quite a lot. Yeah, because well. it is quite a big chunk. Tatiana isn't used to leaving a clean plate and fights to finish her feast. 